lessons today i will talk about uh, cycles in sap 1 and uh, in my first part i talk about the structure of the sap 1 now i will discuss the cycles in the sap 1 the first cycle is fetch and for fetch the active pin is ep and lm bar so how i write this numbers like you can see uh, that active pins are ep and lm bar so here for as as the ep is active so i'm giving one for for uh, for this pin to be active okay so now the ep is active and the remaining should be zero and the lm bar what makes the lm bar active zero as it is a bar so zero will make the lm bar active and how i uh, you don't have to memorize this hex numbers uh, how i'm doing it like zero one zero one makes five then one 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 makes e and uh, the remaining uh, 1100 makes 3. So this is how you will convert it. The next CP. CP is active. So here I am giving 1. And others are like EP. Uh, I have to make it inactive. So I gave here 0 and then uh, su0 to make this bars inactive you have to give one because it, uh, it became activated by zero so you have to give one by this you will do this and the control rom control rom is uh, basically the same thing here there's nothing new to say now we will see the address rom here for the address from the LDA, what is the first value of LDA? That is 3H, okay? So, if you write in the 3 in the content, you will get 0011. And for add, it is 6H, so 0110. And for subtraction, it is 9H. So, what is the binary of the 9? That is 1001 then uh, for out it is uh, eh so the content is one double one double zero so this is all about the roms uh, in my next word i will discuss about uh, the cycles in much detail okay thank you if you have any question you can uh, write me in the comment section thank you and please don't forget to subscribe.